Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kenny Hara. So I'm a designer based in Tokyo. And I work communication design. I don't design things though. I design happenings or mental events. I'm constantly thinking about how to create a memory or identity, how to create a kind of spark of recognition in the mind of the audience. There's something that will imprint itself as memory. Today, I'm going to talk about emptiness. Emptiness is the backbone of my aesthetic sensibility. The concept of emptiness is implicit foundation of every aspect of Japanese culture, architecture, design, communication, and gardens, and lighting, and movies, and even comics. When it, uh, we can find the roots of emptiness in the sensibilities of Japanese of the distant past. They believe that wisdom lies in nature. Love of nature is universal, but we see slight differences in beliefs. Who believes the nucleus of wisdom is within nature? Who believes it can be found within the human race? The ancient Japanese did not see nature as wild. They saw its abundance and believed that nature teaches human beings how to lead rich lives accordingly. When nature is identified as gods with transcendental and special powers, religion is born. But in my talk today, I won't call this religion. I want to figure out how nature has supported mankind's spiritual strengths. But there is no way to beat those gods. Nature is fickle and delicate. So there is no way to make the appointment with God. The only, only thing we can do is invite the gods as guests. Because emptiness is itself the possibility to being filled. The gods, which see everything, couldn't fail to notice the empty space. But that, that doesn't give us any certainty that they will, come, will enter. They may enter. This may carry great weight. The entry point, or a tori, is a simple structure made up of two vertical posts topped with horizontal element. This symbolizes a gate of emptiness through which visitors must pass. It is because emptiness is vacant that it holds endless possibilities of receptive capacity. Emptiness is not a message, but we can see the beginning of communication in the very act of seeing the possibility related in an empty vessel and conveying our thought or our brain. Suppose that you have a glass in each hand. One is empty, and other is filled with water. You pour water from the first glass into the empty glass. When you spill even a small amount, you add the new water to top the glass up. If you repeat the process thousands of times, the water itself will become different from the original glass of water. 
but it is in the water that you will find what is eternal conveyed from the remote past. The essence of communication is to share information, <coughs> thoughts, or feeling with one another. Eye contact can also be successful communication. It may not always be so, but if both parties feel they have shared something and created a bond, it has been successful. Here, there is a specific mechanism of communication at work. Through a method that only those who are present can understand, the group implements emptiness, arrives an agreement, and includes a moral distribution of responsibility and power. A red cycle attracts the eyes. If we, we endow this visual object with a particular meaning and put it in circulation, we have effective visual communication. A red cycle is an empty vessel. It's a receptacle for all or any meaning. This receptacle accepts meaning uh, ranging from invasion destruction and imperialism to patriotism and peace. And when you think about it, you will realize that concept of simplicity are only a very recent part of human history in the context of creating our environment. The course of modern design has followed the discovery of simplicity which conform to function. This is the difference between the simple and empty. Here are two well-made simple tools. The Western style knife has a perfect finger grip. The Japanese style knife, no. At first glance, the design of the gripless knife seems to lack common courtesy to the user. But it is within, within this universality, the user can hold it from any angle, that we, we found the emptiness. Within the Muji concept is the idea of discovering within simplicity and luxury that rival mere appearance. Effective communication does not depend on how wisely we talk to our partner, but how intensely we listen to him. Moody products allow their users to conjure up a tremendous variety of images. Moody isn't the only one that uses a logo-only method. But Moody's ads don't land that kind of power brand message. Here's a message from a brand. Here are Moody's. 